So in this short video I'm going to show you um, the rules used to calculate speed, distance and time. So it helps to know this triangle D at the top. So distance equals speed times time. Distance equals speed times time. So if for example I was doing 20 miles per hour on my bike for 3 hours and if I multiply those two numbers together, I would have travelled 60 miles. Now, uh, if we want to work out speed, speed will equal the distance divided by the time. So if I rode 100 miles in 4 hours, my speed would have averaged out if I do 100 divided by 4, what I'm then saying is I'm going at 25 miles every hour, which we write as mph, miles per hour. So we can find speed by doing distance divided by time. And then finally, if we want to find time, time equals the distance divided by the speed. So if, for example, um, I travel 100 and 20 miles in a car and I was traveling at 60 miles per hour then this will take me if I do the division 120 divided by 60 it will take me two hours and think about it if I've traveled 120 miles if I'm going 60 miles per hour for two hours that would have given me the 120 so the, I've kept all the units fairly simple um, in this question. It can be a bit harder um, if the, you know, the numbers aren't as easy as the ones I've given you and then we would use um, a calculator. So I'll give you an example of that now. So suppose um, I was told that I had travelled 340 miles in six, 5 hours and 15 minutes. What is my speed? So remember that speed equals distance divided by time. Now the distance is no problem, that's 340. But the time is a problem because we've got it in different units. So we need to change 5 hours 15 minutes into hours only. Now that's 5 and 15 out of 60 okay because it's 60 minutes per hour now 15 over 60 if you use your calculator you'll see that's 0.25 so to answer this question then I've got to do 340 divided by 0.25 and you should know that 15 minutes is quarter of an hour and a quarter as a decimal is 0.25 so we get the calculator now to finish this off So we're doing uh, 340 divided by 340 divided by 5.25. And so it is 64.76. So we'll change that down into one decimal place, 64.8. Um, and the speed would be in miles per hour. And I think you can just see me squeezing that in at the bottom of the page. So there's some examples of speed, distance and time.